Mika. What's going on, guys? Welcome into another episode of Milk, Milk Dogs. Dogs. And this week we're in the we're in the championship games, guys. Four Com- teams, conference championships this weekend. Okay, go ahead and tell them what we're starting out with. Ooh, we got obviously two great games. These people are battling it out for the Super Bowl run. Right off the rip, we got the Chiefs going to Baltimore on the road for the second time in a row, playing the Ravens. What's your biggest takeaway, Trey? What do you think about the Chiefs playing in the playoffs so far? What do you think about the Ravens? Dude, I sit there and think that the Chiefs have just turned into the new Patriots. I think I think uh, Patrick Mahomes has turned into Brady where he's just going to half-ass the season, get in the playoffs, and they've just been playing lights out, to be honest. I mean, oh, I... But, I mean, the Ravens have had a solid defense all season. Absolutely. I mean, the Chiefs, the last two weeks, if you've been watching the games, they have been opportunistic. They yeah. have been taking – I mean, they've been doing what they can to yeah. stop plays. So, <clears throat> I think it's going to be a good battle here. You know, I want to take the Ravens, but my gut's telling me take the Chiefs, so I'm taking the Chiefs here. Side note, you know – uh, Mahomes has been this the NFL for six years. Seven. Has he been? He's only been starting for six years. Yeah. Every year that he has started in the NFL, he has made it to the AFC Championship. I know. Isn't I, that insane? That's yeah. an insane stat. Yeah, I was gonna sit there and anybody that sat there and said that to me, I was gonna be like, that's wrong. He's been in the league seven years. He sat a whole year as a rookie. I so. Mean, that's, no, just, I mean, that's just something you can't take away uh, from. That's like as a starter, yeah. I mean, that's impressive. Straight, it is. It is impressive, and that is why he's just saturated. He's oversaturated. Everybody wants to see him lose. Um, back to your Tom Brady thing. You said, I feel like the regular season wasn't exactly his fault. I feel like his receivers are just dropping the ball. Well, what I'm saying is, like they they went through the whole season. To like figure out how to get their offense like going, coasting. Yeah, they just like you know, oh, we barely win this one. Who, who cares if we lose that one? Like you know, whatever. But yeah, I feel like since the playoffs started, they've just been lights out. To be honest, yeah, and like you said, the Ravens defense been playing really well, but obviously the Chiefs defense has been playing pretty decent. Honestly, give that to them too. I think uh, both these offenses are really good, and they're actually really similar. Uh, as you see on the Chiefs, you got Rasheed Rice, rookie. The Ravens, they got rookie Zay Flowers. The rest of their wide receivers are pretty mid, yeah. to be honest, but they rely on their tight ends. Mark Andrews back this week. But the only difference is uh, Lamar, he is more of a rushing quarterback. He can get out of that pocket so fast, you get, you leave a hole. That dude's getting like... 10 yards, easy. Yeah, he only had like, what, like 125 or 150 yards passing last week and 100 yards rushing. Yeah. In like two touchdowns each, so he had four all together. The dude barely <clears throat> gets sacked, and if he does, you deserve a trophy because this everybody wants to take this dude down, and they can't even take him down. Yeah. Well, but, everybody gets pissed, yeah. Yeah. But that being said, it is Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. It's going to be a really tough game. I'm excited to watch it. But I'm going to take the Ravens at home. Yeah. That makes sense. Anything else you want to add? No, that's it. Then we got this NFC matchup, guys, where I wish we were there. We should have been there if all the mistakes. We didn't make so many mistakes. But, I mean, got to give it props to the Lions and the, and the 49ers making it. Still don't have any faith in Purdy. But, uh. Lions going to San Francisco to play them. Yeah, so the Lions going into the 49ers. Paul's right next to it. Lions going into the 49ers. Uh, Unfortunate. <laughs> so, I mean, the only thing, only problem is, right, Jared Goff played in the 49ers division. He's 0-5 against 49ers. <clears throat> but he's not playing on the Rams. New team, too. New team. The new Detroit Lions. You know, I want to see the Lions win this game. So I'm going to choose the Lions because they've never been there. They've never won an NFC Championship game. It'd be big for them to make the Super Bowl. Even if they don't win, it'd be big for them to make it. Absolutely. But it'd be an 
honestly, I can't wait to see the documentary over it, regardless of how it yeah. is. <laughs> I mean, pretty much, yeah, it's going to be a documentary. But what have you said before on uh, Milk Dogs, Trey, about Jared Goff? Playing in a dome. But, I mean, as we've seen last week against us, you just drizzle a little rain on Brock Purdy, and he looks like dog shit. It's been pretty rainy <clears throat> over here in Indiana. Yeah. What about Sam Fran? Yeah. Probably not as much, but still. I mean, if it's raining, I mean, I know Brock. I mean, uh, I know uh, Jared Goff has to play in a dome to be good. But I feel like their running game with Gibbs and Montgomery, yeah, is. Uh, I mean, dude, Aaron Jones ran all over him. <clears throat> he ran 107. He was the first person in 51 games to break over 100 yards rushing on him. And Aaron Jones is a little older. Jameer yeah. Gibbs got that fire under him. Yeah. And Montgomery has been showing that the Bears let go of their best running back. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, they have a they have a two headed monster like that. You know, AJ Dillon hard. was AJ Dillon was out. If he'd have been in, we would have had a better run game. But needless to say, I just think Dude, I have no faith in Purdy. I really don't. Like I know everybody sits there and says Purdy hater, Purdy hater. I mean Dude, I'm not saying he, I'm not saying it. Actually, I looked this up yesterday, right? What? So there's only there's only 224 draft picks if you do the seven times 32. I think it's 224, 226, something like that. <clears throat> Brock Purdy was drafted 262, so there was almost 40 more fucking extra picks. There was 38 extra picks in that draft. So if those uh. You know the what? Are they, I don't even know. Compensary, compensary picks. Like when you lose a player, free agency and stuff, they give you extra picks. Yeah. When you uh, you know, interview different head coaches, you know, different minority head coaches, you know, you, they give you extra picks, which is fucked up. But that's the NFL for you. <clears throat> but so his ass wouldn't that. even be drafted if there wasn't. Which I think is disrespectful to him, to him because he's obviously better than a seventh round pick. Okay, I'm not saying he's a he's a bust or whatever. I'm just saying I don't have faith that he's like the guy. Yeah, because I've said it. You know, I've said it on here. If you take any other quarterback, you could probably pretty much drop him in there, and they'd be almost as successful. Some of them would be more successful because Jimmy G took this same team with less talent further. You know, took him to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's just what I'm saying. It's fair point, but I mean. If they didn't have Brock Purdy, and let's say they did still have Jimmy G, um, they wouldn't have nearly all the players they had because they're paying Purdy so little. Yeah. That dude's getting paid, like, minimal. They've got basically a super squad. It's like an it's like a Madden team that you built. You know what I mean? Like, you got so many crazy people on there. Yeah, their defense. When, you turn your sal- when you turn salary cap off, yeah. You can build <laughs> anything you want. Their offense is insane. But we don't know if Debo's playing. And if if you guys look at the statistics on whenever uh, their whole core of offense is healthy versus when they're not, they lose majority of the time. So if Debo doesn't play, their odds of winning, I think, get hindered pretty hard. Because Debo, Debo's kind of like the dark horse for them. He, he rushes. He's a deep ball threat. He's a short ball threat. Like The dudes can do anything for the offense. Yeah, I mean, my whole thing with Debo is, like, I enjoy watching people fight for extra yards. Sometimes Debo goes a little too excessive. That's why he got hurt against us. That's why he fucked his shoulder up. Like, I I mean, you know, you love people fighting for extra yards. You love that, right? You don't want them out. But you don't want them to get hurt. So, like, he just, I think Debo, his his whole life was just sitting there saying he's too small. He's too. Mm. He's too. This. He's too. Maybe. He's not fast enough. He's not strong enough. So like you know, he's got to go out there and act like he's got little man syndrome. He thinks he's like the biggest, baddest motherfucker out here, and then he gets hit by two or three people, and then now he's out. <laughs> like, dude. <clears throat> like, dude. The Colts fan I talked to, Jimmy. He sat there and said that uh, you know Marvin Harrison, right? He had such a long career. Okay. You look up game film of Marvin Harrison, right? If he could break a tackle, he would. If he couldn't, he just walk out of bounds. He just go out of bounds. He'd be like second and, or you know, be like first and ten, right? Get an eight yard pass. I could get those two yards, but I could also go out and get, you know, 
Not be, die. Yeah, <laughs> two and eight, uh, second and two, because Peyton Manning's throwing me the ball, right? Or anybody was throwing him the ball. So I feel like there's a there's like a a medium ground you got to be at. You got to make smarter decisions with what you do because yeah. to make a to make a long extended career. Yeah, I mean, there's an argument to be made that why should he fight for those extra yards when they have arguably I mean, it was second down? I mean, it was it was going to be third down. It's going to be like third and three. And they instead, have Christian instead, McCaffrey yeah. on their team. And instead, instead he's like, "Oh, now it's third and one. Well, thank God you got those two yards, Debo. You're out the rest of the game. Get the fuck out of here." We got Christian McCaffrey on our team against the the Packers with their like decent run game, but no. still, it's still CMC. It's not. It, I mean, we ain't got a run game. We ain't got a run defense. No, it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were like 28th ranked in the league for run defense. Nice. And then uh, it might have been that might have been yards per attempt, and but if it was a uh, twenty three and twenty eight, one of them was yards per attempt, the other one was yards for running back. So, so no run game. No, there no run, run defense. defense. <laughs> yeah, I think we're both in agreement on this one. I think we both want to watch the Lions win this game. I think the Lions have so much to prove. I think it means the world to Dan Campbell. And oh yeah. I do know that. This 49ers dynasty that they've had for the past few years is probably coming to an end after this because they got to pay Purdy. They got to pay all know, these people. But like, that's my whole argument. It's like, what what do you think is a Purdy contract? Okay. Like a Purdy sized contract. If he gets MVP, I guarantee you it's higher. I know, but like, good God. Can you imagine paying Brock Purdy $40 million a year? Can you imagine paying Jalen Hurts how much he did? And he's barely done shit this year. He took him to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, okay. So Purdy, so you think if Purdy takes him to the Super Bowl, he deserves a big contract like Jalen? No, I didn't think Jalen deserved it. I don't either. I didn't. I. I mean, I think, like I said, I think you're going to see more contracts like Jordan Love's and, and Baker's were. More incentives involved if you win higher, win further in the playoffs. Make, make you want to play. Make you want to play. Like, look at Deshaun Watson. Deshaun sit Just on the sit there. Yeah. You know, then, like, the only one that actually performed this year was, that got paid, was Lamar Jackson. You know? Yeah. And, uh... Not I Herbert. Mean, yeah, Herbert got hurt. Uh, Burrow got hurt. Burrow looked like shit before he got hurt. Well, he, had like, he had, like, four games where he looked good, but the first four was dog shit. I think we should both <clears throat> agree that he shouldn't have played those games. I mean, his ankle was obviously yeah. more fucked up than they said it was. You're paying, you're paying him. Yeah, you're making all that fucking money. You watch the games every every time the defense sat there. They're like, put, put the, the vibrator on. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just like, you're making all that money. You gotta sit there. Lamar showed it this year. Why he's worth the money? Herbert, Burrow, Hurts didn't. Like none of them did. Yep. You know, Josh Allen. Josh Allen got paid last year and. He had a solid year. I mean, he he still led the league in most touchdowns. Josh Allen did. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, Mahomes, he he took the long-term fucking salary, you know, after his first Super Bowl. That's a pretty smart way of doing it, though. Yeah. Because he he, he just gets generational money at that point. Yeah. For, like, a long time. Yeah, 10-year contract. But, yeah. Taking the Lions, baby. Yeah, we're both taking Lions. Give me Goff. Give me Laporta. Give me Amon Ra. Give me Aiden Hutchinson. What a beast. Dude, hey, did you see Aiden when they won the game? He just stood on the field looking up at the fans and stuff, like just enjoying the moment. Really? I was like, I respect that. Like, just sitting there enjoying. Dude, him and Anzalone go hard, dude. I don't think Aiden Hutchinson's that good of a player, to be honest. <sighs> to be fucking honest. Like, like, dude, his little, his little spin move's stupid. Like, where he just, he spins and then he's stuck like this and then he spins again. I'm like, Dude, that's dumb as fuck. I but I give whatever. him props because he just keeps going. Yeah, he's kind of he's he's like a baby Max Crosby. No. Max Crosby doesn't stop. Yeah, and Aiden's like the same way. I know, but Max Crosby's more of a fucking monster. Like that's why I called him a baby. Yeah, I know. I don't even know if he because Max Crosby just keeps going. Right, he's just dead set. I don't know. Like fucking when Aiden Hutchinson's running, he looks like a damn like like you got a <laughs> puppet. And you're like. Like that's just, it's Stop like a, disrespecting. He's I going mean, to the really Super does. Bowl, baby. Come I on. Know, but like, if you watch him run, it's just like, 
Dude, just make a sprint to the fucking quarterback and don't be like, well, look at me. <laughs> like, that's what he looks like he's running like. Rico, like even though Trey hates him, we're taking the Lions. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm taking the Lions. Not because of Aiden Hutchinson. I can't believe you right now. No, I mean, that's what he does. Doing the fucking, uh, the, uh, what is that? The monster mash? Is that yeah. That? No, I mean, he looks like a damn, like, orangutan. Like, if you throw a fucking oh, some fruit oh, down there, he's like, oh, 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 let me get it. Let me get the quarterback. Oh. I'm from Michigan. That's been milked out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> See ya. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more uh, orangutan impressions yeah. by Trey. Because obviously I didn't do it justice. Yeah. I get you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>